Pokemon X and Y, the worst Pokemon games I've ever played. The Great Flump has honored us with his presence. Listen to his infallible words. There's this expectation that Pokemon X and Y gave me when I was seeing all the new features before the games came out, such as riding Pokemon, Pokemon Ami, completely three-dimensional world, mega evolutions, an awesome area based off of France, and an awesome looking map that showed off the region. Let's start with all the good aspects of the game. Pokemon Ami was a good addition to Pokemon, letting the player interact with their Pokemon, and each Pokemon reacts differently to where you touch them with your stylus, which was much more than what I was expecting. Customizable trainers was great, even though it wasn't really all that extensive, but it was a good addition. You can change the skin color and the outfit of your trainer, so that's something I've always wanted. And all the new Pokemon in the region. I like all the Pokemon to a degree in this region, excluding Diggersby, because he's just fucking disgusting. But all the other Pokemon besides him are likable in some way to me, despite the extremely low number of new Pokemon. But that's balanced by Mega Evolution, which is one of the biggest changes to the Pokemon games since Titties on a Miltank. Mega Evolution is really awesome. It takes your favorite Pokemon and just makes them badass. Mega Charizard Y is exactly what I've always wanted Charizard to look like. You know, instead of being a fat dragon, he's now like this awesome dragon with a huge wingspan and spikes all over. The majority of the Megas, they don't seem to go overboard in the designs, which I'm quite happy about. White Kieran and Black Kieran, they went just way too overboard with their design. There was just too much going on with them. Although, enlarging the chin seems to be a reoccurring theme in a lot of the Megas for some reason. And I also like how all the Mega Stones are pretty hard to find and you only have an hour each day to discover them. Sky Battles were added. Yeah, they're just kind of there. Horde Encounters was a really cool addition. Five Mime Juniors living in a cave, you know, having that orgy in that cave. You just run into them and they all start slapping your face repeatedly. That's a great experience. Fairy type, I welcome it into the Pokemon universe. I really enjoy how it's weak to poison and steel. I always felt poison needed to receive more recognition. I really liked the just the concept of Evil Tall. Evil Tall is just fucking awesome. He's just a like living atomic bomb, dies every thousand years and kills everything around him. That's just fucking awesome. I also like how the region actually fucking celebrates you for saving it for once. That was a nice addition. In every other Pokemon game, they're just like, Oh, you saved us, and no one knows. And especially with Generation 4, fucking Diamond and Pearl, you saved the whole goddamn universe, you saved space-time. No one gives a shit, apparently. I like how they brought back Snorlax blocking your path. That was a nice little throwback. You know it wasn't a good throwback? The first forest in the game. It's literally Viridian fucking forest, except it's just not as hard to navigate. The same exact Pokemon in it. The same exact Pokemon. When I started the game, went in the first area, and I was like, new Pokemon, let's find out what the new Pokemon are gonna be. And you just see all these Generation 1 Pokemon, and it's like, that's cool, but I, I wanna see some, some new ones too. Two things that make these games worthwhile are Gumi and Rugalje. That's why you should buy these games, because of those two Pokemon. <laughs>